Hey everyone, this is Lindsay. Welcome back to my channel. I have just a short and sweet video for you today. I'm filming this the day before I have it uploaded because I have a big day, a big day today. And um, so I thought that I would just spend a little bit of time giving you a little bit of information and then get along with everything I have to do. I have, like I said, I have a big day um, and that kind of ties into what I have here. I have two journals to share with you that I created this week. One is a gift and one is listed in the shop. Um, so this one will be in the shop. This is Shabby Cat. And so if you want to see a flip through of this or find it in the shop, just stay tuned. The shop is in the description box below. But I'd like to talk to you about this one. And this is called Perfect Pastels. This is a gift for a sweet lady that I'm supposed to be meeting today if everything goes well. She is driving um, quite a ways to meet me at Hobby Lobby to, oh, I'm purchasing some of her craft supplies and um, she is being super sweet, bringing them to me so she doesn't have to ship them. And so I thought I would make her a journal um, for a thank you. And so I thought maybe you guys would get some inspiration on how I created this journal. And then, um, because you just never know what might inspire you. So I like to talk about how each of my journals starts out because they always start out with something. This one started out with the cereal box that I, it wasn't a cereal box. It was like a graham cracker box or a, I think it was a graham cracker box that I used. I believe it is five and a half by, whoop, five and a half by seven, five by seven and a half. I was close. And then the next thing I chose was this light blue cardstock because I really wanted to reinforce the cardboard. And then um, from there, I went on, the next thing I chose was this wallpaper to reinforce the spine. Once I had those colors down, I decided to use my paper pack, Perfect Pastels, which you can find in my shop. It's, um, I'll show you in a minute, inside stitched it all around. And then I used a uh, broken China distress ink just to kind of give it, you can see kind of just break up the solidness of it. Isn't that beautiful? And then some texture paint. And while the texture paint over the stencil, while it was still wet, I sprinkled on some purple glitter and I did not want to cover This is quite textured. I don't know if you can tell. I didn't really want to cover this up. So I used one of my floral journal labels. You can get these in my shop as well. This is this journal belongs to. I've done a lot of faux stitching using a felt tip pen as well, as well as real stitching. Um, it does have a mint green ribbon closure. And then on the inside, I did not cover the uh, cardboard. I've used broken china both done with the smushing technique, which is you spray it with water and then smush your surface on top of it, as well as stenciling. Now, I meant to actually cover this, but I've already done the stitching and I thought I would just leave it. It has kind of a junk journal theme and then add, just add some touches. So we have a little ephemera from Innocent Days, a little, I got this in Happy Mail. I just added this on top. It's a little like embossed tag. And then here's Perfect Pastels. So I'm just gonna do a quick flip through. There's hand dyed paper. I've used some Leanna scrap book pages. There are four signatures in this journal and I hope that um, the lady I made it for enjoys it. I did send her a couple of pictures last night um, to let her know what it might look like and she said she liked it so i hope that she likes it once she sees it in person joanne made this little flip of course i had to add that that's from i believe that's from lavender and lace i've added in scrapbook paper library cards hand dyed paper stickers lonnie gave me these pages here already using them lonnie thank you I wanted to throw in a textured piece of cardstock. I usually save these for the covers, but sometimes it's fun to put that really nice heavyweight. Here's all the Perfect Pastels papers. That's from Sugar Rose. Well, the Creative Fabric of Fans freebie. If you're interested in Creative Fabric of Fans or more information on that and supporting me, on that uh, platform, you can click the link in the description box below and that will give you all the info you could ever want on that. 
pretty much you get freebies for supporting my channel. We'll be laying in a scrap. These are my color bouquets that I did. Vintage book page, 12 Dancing Princesses. Lots of hand dyed paper. Using little strips of paper can look like washi tape. That's from Innocent Days. Joanne made this tag. I just added the blue. Just a really pretty, added a big flower here. I got this from Peggy. I think this one's from Dear to My Heart. Innocent Days. I've done this little bee several times throughout this journal. Innocent Days. Antique Wallpaper, and you can find that in Vintage Image Club under the folder Antique Wallpaper. So maybe this inspired you. Um, I'd love for you to get the paper pack Perfect Pastels and see what maybe what journal you'd create with it. I would love to see that and maybe go over to my Facebook group, Nevermore Creations, Junk Journals and Friends, and I would love to see what you create with it. Maybe make a post, but I finished that one yesterday and then today I made this one. And this one is for sale. It's called Shabby Cat. It has 60 pages. It's a single signature. And this one kind of has an interesting story as well. And this started out with a mistake. And I tried to print, see these beautiful, these are from Creative Fabrica. And the shop name is uh, The Paper Princess. And they're called Autumn Fussy Cut Floors. Oh, hi, cat. <laughs> Um, and so I was just printing some of these out and I used my scan and cut to cut them out. So that's why they're so perfect, this beautiful frame. But the first time I tried to print these out, they misprinted and I had two pages of misprints that I really couldn't use. So I glued those two pieces of cardstock together and then I, um, painted this with vintage acrylic paint. It was my grandmother's. And it's this gorgeous green. I just painted right over it. And then I used this Ivy stamp that Vicki gave me. Thank you, Vicki. I love this stamp. And I've actually done this technique with the embossing powder and this specific stamp before. Um, I just kind of randomly stamp it. And then it is a chunky white and gold embossing powder. I don't know the brand. There isn't a brand on the bottle. And I just embossed. So you have that. It's a slightly raised, beautiful leaves. And then I sprayed on some Distress Spray. Oh, I don't know the color. One of the like black ones or gray ones. Like I'm not sure. I don't remember. And then I put that frame on the front. Come on, cat. Move out of the way. And this, this little cat here is from my ephemera pack Bright Soul. I just cut her out, kind of grunged up the background here, and then used a little word journal on some burlap. And then I'll do a quick flip through. There's vintage music paper on the inside. I've used antique papery for some of the pages. And Tsunami Rose. There's a couple cat details from Tsunami Rose. These are my color bouquets again. Green hand-dyed paper. This is more of the paper Lonnie gave me recently. So as you can see, I'm putting it to good use, Lonnie. I forgot. I used a few shops I had gotten stuff from years ago. Um, I think this is Country at Heart 2008. I don't know if she's still on Etsy or not, but I have those beautiful pages. Look at those perfect fussy cut roses. There's hand dyed paper. This was a stamped image that I cut out, some note paper. It is a simple journal. Um, it says, you are wonderful. Library card. This is from Bright Soul. Um, little playing card. But I just think it's so sweet some wallpaper, those little stickers of cats. I wrote today, I will. This is from Allure Books Craft. Again, an old uh, purchase or an old gift that she gave me. I don't know if she's still on Etsy. I haven't looked in a few years. Tsunami Rose. 
It's a little fabric bookmark that I'd gotten in some Happy Mail. I thought that went perfect with this journal. This little button card, a little vintage button card, is glued at the top so you can tuck something under it like a photograph or a journal card. This is, well, that's a sticker. A little Project Life card that says Cherish. Using those fussy cut flowers in here. That's Tsunami Rose. Dear to my heart. It's one of my ephemera packs little burlap cluster in the corner. Roses are gathered every day. That's one of my um, cut out words that you can get on my website. Tsunami rose, some paper. And then I signed it in the back and left room for you to write your name or something as well. Love the patina of this vintage music paper. That was also a happy mail gift. So this one is in the shop. I know it is a quick little video, but I didn't want to overstress myself uh, today because I have, like I said, the boys at school. I have to go to the gym. I have to meet sweet lady at Hobby Lobby. Plus, I want to do a little shopping at Hobby Lobby if I have time because I have a Hobby Lobby video that I have planned that I want to do for you guys. And I haven't had a chance to get to Hobby Lobby. I was hoping to go um, yesterday, but I was home with one of my kids he was homesick from school and so I didn't get a chance to go. So maybe I'll get that done and be able to do that video for you in the next week or two. That would be wonderful. Anyway, I hope you'll take a second to subscribe if you have not. Give this video a thumbs up if there was something you enjoyed. And I will see all of you next time in another video.